Hey everyone, so I'm gonna be doing a um, how-to video right now. It's gonna be how to get this layout going on on your tablet, Galaxy Tab. Um, I did a video a couple of months back, but it wasn't really a how-to video. But um, it was a description, I will link you up to that video too. But this will be more... Um, more in-depth and um, something that will help you guys get it done so uh, this may be long it will take you quite a while to get all this done It'll, um, it's a little tedious but if you're patient you can get this done and it will be pretty awesome so let's get down to it so we need several applications from the market the first one will be ADW Launcher X or EX. Um, it's a must have uh, to set it up perfectly. We also need the Honeycomb theme for ADW. Um, this will be the GFX version though. Or, well, any Honeycomb theme for ADW should work. But the GFX version is free. We also need Perfect Task Switcher. I will show you what it does kind of gives you a multitasking feel here um, it's cool it's a bit of a gimmick but whatever right uh, so we need that we need one more clock which will give you the honeycomb um, digital clock we also need um, we also need the honeycomb clock there is a free one as well as a paid one paid one will give you a few more options I can go ahead and show it to you not that it matters, but, um, there's the honeycomb clock. There's the paid one, you can go crazy, go nuts with it. Um, sorry about that. We also need desktop visualizer. When you, you use desktop visualizer to make, um, widgets like this, tiny ones. Um, they aren't gonna be very... Uh, sorry about this. Um, they aren't they aren't going to be very functional, but you can use them, and it's a bit of eye candy. So go ahead and get that too. Okay, so first thing we got to do um, is to go to well, download ADW EX, which you probably should have by now, and uh, load it up. Make it your default um, launcher, and go to ADW settings. Once you do that, what you gotta do is to load your theme. So go ahead and load it. Um, I've got the default theme going on here. You can load up the honeycomb theme. It won't won't do much. I, I only use it for um, the icons, which we'll talk about later. But you can go ahead and do that. Um, and now for the main thing, just go to UI settings and screen preferences. And now here you can set up desktop columns to 10 and desktop rows to 8. That will make it, that will give it a very tablet, tablet-like feel. Um, also what you got to do is go to home orientation and set it up for the landscape. This will stop your home um, I mean your home screen from turning portrait when it if you leave it it looks pretty messy so this is meant for landscape only everything else will work in portrait like um, applications and such so no need to worry there. Um, also you've got to select hide status bar and uh, overlap widgets should be unchecked Okay, so after that, go to main dock and go to main dock style and select none because we're not going to have a dock. Um, and then go back again. Go to drawer settings, app drawer style, horizontal, paginated, and drawer columns landscape would be six. Drawer Rose landscape will be four. 
So make sure you do that. So once that's done, what you gotta do is set up how um, interaction with the thing, with the tablet goes. So go to general behavior, animation and effects. Uh, you can select infinite scroll if you like to. Um, and screen transition effect is what's important. You got several different options, but to make it most like honeycomb, select tilt. So go ahead and do that. Um, after that, you should go to desktop scrolling speed, reduce it to make it a little smoother, because uh, it will fling a lot faster. Desktop bounce, I tend to put it to zero, because it annoys me when um, I hit the home button and it freezes a bit, which ADW seems to have as a problem right now, so go ahead and do that. You can uh, deselect wallpaper scrolling if you want to. I've deselected it to make it a little smoother. Um, and you can go ahead and select sense previews, which is the helicopter view when you pinch um, the screen. Uh, you can uh, deselect animated drawer, but um, of course selecting it won't cause much of a difference. Um, yeah. Alright, so after that go back and then go to gestures over here. And uh, drawer swiping should be well deselected home button binding selected to do move to default desktop and short previews meaning if you select the home button it'll move to well, your home 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 page and then select it again it will um, zoom out into the helicopter view you can just select it to be moved to default desktop so uh, it's all your choice in the end um, and swipe down action none. Swipe up, swipe up actions none. Let me just check if I did. Oh, it should be none. So okay, so now we're ready to set up our desktop or well home pages. So what you're gonna have to do here is go to the link in the description now and download the the image package that Gansdroid has put up. This is uh, slightly old, definitely works for now. Well, I, I still use it, and uh, you need it to um, do like the simple things like. Well, I'll talk about it. So go ahead and download that now. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, put it, unpack it, and put it in your SD card. Sorry about that. Go ahead and put it in your SD card, and we'll be using those pictures to set up. Um, stuff like this. Go ahead and long press, hit widgets, go down to desktop visualizer, which is what we're going to be using. 1x4, doesn't really matter, just pick whatever you want. And, uh, you can long press, edit, and do what you like here. So just pick the first thing that comes up. I mean, can't hurt you. Once that's done, select it. Select icon, go to image file, gallery, and wherever you placed it, whatever folder you named it, go ahead, select it, um, and see Google. Select Google, launch application for action. Uh, looking for Google search, Google search. Here at label, clear label, go down, and highlight touch effect should be none okay and there you go Google it's all just eye candy nothing goes on you can you can use it to put whatever you want there's uh, several there's gonna be you can set it up to launch YouTube there's a picture for YouTube it's all just eye candy I prefer not to set up widgets that look like scrollable widgets but in the end aren't it's a little disappointing so Go ahead and do that. Alright, so now for the icons. If you've used ADW, you know that you can change the, the icons here. All you gotta do, long press, edit, and pick a picture. Go to ADW theme icon packs, and there you go. Everything honeycomb should be on top, wherever. Find a honeycomb looking picture, go ahead and put it. You can do it for every single 
icon that's on your home pages which I have as you can see so you can go ahead and do that which uh, of course gives it the honeycomb feel that you want finally we gotta focus on these these little bad boys so what you gotta do is long press and launch your actions um, before I forget let's just do open and close app drawer because we need something to open your applications like this right so have this on your um, your desktop or home page long press uh, long press edit uh, select whatever picture you can find here that looks like an application picture say this or there should be several like these I go I picked one of those so I'm gonna pick this for now get rid of all the text and okay and there you go you can put that in the corner of your desktop or in the middle usually it's in the corner for honeycomb so go ahead and put it there and that will be your opening opening your app drawer and for these stuff it's basically the same thing launch your actions um, move to home page will be um, let me move to default desktop now this will be the home thing home page so you can go ahead and edit it put the home picture in here from the ADW default icon and go ahead and do that and for this this for me shows my notification bar because I usually hide it as we did before so again launch your actions show hide status bar or yeah show hide status bar and you can set it up so that it looks like that. This, of course, is Perfect Task Switcher. So, once you've downloaded Perfect Task Switcher, find it in your app drawer. Um, I always have trouble here. There it is. And just make a shortcut. Long press. Edit. Oh. Long press, long press, edit, edit, and change, change this into what I've changed it into, um, not entirely sure where it is right now, oh there it is. Go ahead and select that, or whatever, right? Um, make it look like honeycomb. It's all up to you. It's all in your hands in the end. So, go ahead and do that. And, oh well, save it after. Do what you gotta do, and you got this. So we can set those up on every single home page. That's why I said this will take quite a while to do. And this is turning out to be a very long video, so. Hopefully I'll be able to upload it. And that's that's it. You can download several apps like Pulse. Looks good. Looks like a Honeycomb app. You can download Colorize widgets. Has scrollable widgets. And, well, several stuff that you can do to make your tablet look very Honeycomb-y. Of course, it's definitely not as slick or as smooth. It will probably take a lot of your system power, but yeah, if you like Honeycomb, you want it to look like it, go ahead and do it, because you got nothing to lose, right? Anyway, good luck to you all, and I will talk to you guys later.